All right, what's going on guys? We are now in a pretty transitory period for From Software games, where we find ourselves shifting our focus from Elden Ring to the next installment, Armored Core 6. Now, that's not to say Elden Ring is over and done. It very much isn't. We even have confirmation from both Miyazaki and Bandai Namco that there is more Elden Ring content on the way, presumably DLC, and that we'll hear news about that in the coming days and weeks. And of course, I will be covering that right here on the channel. So as always, make sure you're subscribed if you want to stay up to date on all the latest from software news but like i said today we got to talk about armored core because we have some new details from miyazaki himself where he describes what the game is going to be like as well as some new leaks that have just come out from omnipotent now if you don't know who omnipotent is they are by far the most credible leaker when it comes to from software games and they post over on reset era now omnipotent has a 100 track record leaking stuff like sekiro back before that came out as well as tons of information about elden ring back during the time when we were hearing absolutely nothing about that game. Now ever since then Omnipotent has been pretty quiet, however due to a recent discussion that's been going on around Armored Core 6 they decided to weigh in and share some new details. There's recently been a pretty fiery discussion about whether or not Armored Core 6 is going to be closer to the Souls games than the series has been in the past. With a lot of back and forth between videos from different creators, as well as articles from different journalists arguing that topic. And it's based on statements from a credible leak in the past that suggested they were going to take inspiration from the Souls games and use those ideas to drive the series forward. Now, I agree with the speculation on the topic. I think it's a reasonable conclusion to come to, since the Armored Core games have been so niche in the past, it would make sense that From Software would want to take ideas from the Souls games, which have had explosive success, and retroactively use that to make your past series more popular in the modern day. I mean, Elden Ring was their most successful game of all time. They just pulled in an entirely new audience. The last thing the shareholders would want them to do is alienate that audience they just gained. And so I do think it's perfectly reasonable to speculate that it's going to be closer to the Souls games, however we don't know anything about that being the reality. All we've gotten so far is a CG trailer with a very bare bones description about what the game is going to be. That is, until today. Because IGN got the opportunity to sit down with Miyazaki and ask some questions, and it reveals the answers to this argument. So let's go ahead and dive in. From Software's next game may not be a Souls-like, but it will still feature the massive challenging boss fights that have made the developer one of the most famous game studios on the planet. Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon revives From Software's long dormant mecha series, but director Masaru Yamamoto Mura, perhaps best known for his work as lead designer on Sekiro, has promised that a core element of Dark Souls DNA will be clear to see in the new game. Boss battles are the highlight of the game in this title, Yamamura told IGN in a statement. The essence of the battles, in which the player reads the enemy's moves and then plays games with them, is of course provided, as is typical of From Software. In this title, both the enemy and your own machine are aggressive and violent in their attacks. We are developing the game so that players can enjoy the dynamic and intense boss battles that only mechas can offer along with the unique aspects of Armored Core such as how to assemble the right parts to take on the strongest enemies. Despite these massive boss battles, From Software's Hidetaka Miyazaki explained in an exclusive interview with IGN that the studio has not been making a conscious effort to try to direct Armored Core 6 to more of Soulsborne style gameplay. In other words, don't expect Armored Core to just be a sci-fi Souls-like. So while it's laid out pretty clear right there, that this is still going to be an Armored Core game and not a Souls-like, the idea of bombast boss fights is still going to be there and that does have me very excited and I think that idea is what is going to take some of the Souls fans to give Armored Core 6 a try because like the article said there are things that only mechs can offer while the Souls games keep you on the ground where you only have to worry about attacks on a horizontal plane Armored Core takes you in all dimensions it's going to be much faster and you're going to have a lot more to juggle during combat so yes they're going to be big boss fights but the combat is going to be virtually nothing like the Souls games so just keep that in mind. Miyazaki then goes on to describe how the setting of the game is going to be structurally different than what the Souls games have accustomed us to. This is going to be very jarring going from Elden Ring, which was an open world medieval setting, to now a futuristic sci-fi world which is mission based, where the player is confined to specific areas that are within that mission. So let's read. We felt that the mission based structure was a benefit for this because it allows you to choose and customize before each sortie. At the very least, the tempo, the pace at which the player is able to move across the world 
world and traverse the map. This is a very big aspect in how you approach this design. Miyazaki says, I think one of the big appeal points of the previous Armored Core games is having the freedom to choose how you're going to move across the map and how your choices are going to affect your mobility and your ability once you're actually in the level. This is the format we wanted to choose this time and this is where we wanted to put our focus. I've seen a lot of people taking this idea and somehow expecting it to play out like Demon's Souls, where you have your nexus and then offshooting levels that all have different settings for you to explore. And while I think it may be possible that it could be similar to that, I personally would not recommend having that thought in your mind. I think it's best if we all shed our expectations of Souls-like formula and go into it expecting it to be an Armored Core game, which it is. Obviously, the mecha theme of Armored Core 6 means we are portraying these enormous hunks of steel and we're supposed to imagine how these things would move and how they'd be put together. The various joints, how these all sort of move in conjunction with one another, and how we make this look cool, in a gameplay sense as well. Yamamura says, so this is something that we're able to apply resources to. Obviously the metallic texturing of these things and the sound design as well. We're able to use Foley to get some realistic sounds to apply to these mechs, and there are a lot of areas that we're able to apply these resources and modern thinking as well. So once again, I'm going to tell you to temper your expectations. Don't expect the setting or the characters to be anything like Souls. We're no longer dealing with these medieval warriors. We're going to gritty metal robots. But now that we have our expectations of an armored core instead of armored souls, let's hear what Omnipotent had to say. While I have no plan to boost into the fires of Rubicon anytime soon, so please don't see this as a herald of my return, I felt compelled to weigh in on what I can already see brewing, dispel some misconceptions, and set expectations accordingly. Long story short, for those uninterested in my usual long-winded explanations, no, this is not Armored Souls. Armored Core 6 is not a Souls game, it's an Armored Core game through and through end of discussion. As someone who's been an avid fan and played Souls games since near the beginning, and has managed to achieve the position they have in said time, I feel like I'm well versed enough to speak with some degree of authority on what is or isn't a Souls game, which I'm starting to feel like is a valuable discussion to have right now considering how quickly nebulous that term is becoming, as well as the future of the company that should be quickly becoming apparent. I'm going to start with saying that the core gameplay features that define a Souls game are the following, with this list being based upon the major gameplay elements shared across all Souls games. Third person, ground-based combat, focused action RPG, melee slash magic-based combat, classless non-rigid character building, free exploration, dodging evading being a core combat element, PvP slash co-op asynchronous multiplayer, lack of difficulty settings, character creator, currency gained through combat encounters that is used for both spending on items as well as leveling your character. Personally, I feel like that's a fair list. While the game may have elements that are in line with Souls games, that's because those existed in the franchise before Souls did because their pillars are from software's design language as a collective. But it'll also have elements that make it a radical departure from Souls games in its inherent design and structure, as well as the overall and moment-to-moment -moment gameplay loop that means it might not be to the taste of every Souls fan. Because it's not not Armored Souls, it's Armored Core, and there's nothing wrong with that, so let us keep our expectations in check. So that's where we find ourselves with Armored Core 6. I know that may be tough to hear, especially from longtime Souls fans, but that is based on fact, not speculation. So I think the main takeaway is this. If you're a longtime Armored Core fan, it's going to be the language you know and the game that you've come to expect. But if you're like me, who's a longtime Souls fan and has never played Armored Core, this is going to be vastly different than what you're used to. However, at its core, it's still going to have the From Software signature. So if you have any level of respect for Miyazaki's work, I would recommend at least giving it a try. Clear your preconceived notions about what is a From Software game. Anyways though, guys, that's gonna pretty much do it for the video today. Let me know down below if you're excited about Armored Core 6. Personally, I cannot wait for this game. I love sci-fi and I love mechs, but I was never able to play the old Armored Core games. So I can't wait to see how From Software tackles the genre in the modern day. But with all that, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new around here and I'll catch you in the next one.